Good evening, St. Matthews, and welcome into God's courts for prayer. An order for Compline may be found on page 127 on this Thursday evening of what is the 21st full week after Pentecost. The Lord Almighty grant us a peaceful night and a perfect end. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Let us confess our sins to God. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you in thought and through our own fault in thought and word and deed and in what we have left undone. For the sake of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, forgive us all our offenses and grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. May the Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all of our sins and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh God, make speed to save us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. And now, turning the page... Let us say together Psalm 134, which is found on page 131 in your books of common prayer. Behold now, bless the Lord, all you servants of the Lord, you that stand by night in the house of the Lord. Lift up your hands in the holy place and bless the Lord, the Lord who made heaven and earth bless you out of Zion. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord, you are in the midst of us, and we are called by your name. Do not forsake us, O Lord our God. Turning the page. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep us, O Lord, as the apple of your eye. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us of our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray. Visit this place, O Lord, and drive far from it all snares of the enemy. Let your holy angels dwell with us to per preserve us in peace. And let your blessing be upon us always through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Turning the page. O God, your unfailing providence sustains the world we live in and the life we live. Watch over those both night and day who work while others sleep, and grant that we may never forget that our common life depends upon each other's toil. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. I invite your intercessions, your petitions, your requests and thanksgivings. We pray for Donald, our president, for Kay, our governor. We pray for Paul, our mayor. We pray for Michael, our presiding bishop, for Key, our diocesan bishop, and for Glenda, our bishop coadjutor. We pray for Father Steve and Father Sam. We pray for Marie, our seminarian, and we pray for Karen, our aspirant for holy orders. Bartikwa Wissa, Marie Tribble, Richard Gregg, Jerry Wendham, Charles East, Terry Schuster, Bob Fowler, Robert Fowler, John Lewis, Bev Ryberg, Jay Gaynor, Karen, 
Ellen Marie Burns, Catherine S. Williams, Ted Dorch, Jason Fuller, Debbie Heckler, Rhoda Kitchens, Diana Parks. Continuing now on page 134 in your Books of Common Prayer. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Lord, you now have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Let us bless the Lord. Okay, St. Matthews, I hope that your night is restful. It's full of grace and peace. And I'll see you Sunday for Eucharist. The Almighty and Merciful Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us. Amen. Good night.